In this video, we'll explore the contents of the Automated Insights Report, also known as the AIR Report. The main objective of the AIR Report is to provide you with comprehensive insights into both physical and virtual environment configurations and performance from the Optical Prime project. As a review, the AIR Report can be downloaded by opening the Live Optics project, navigating to the Reports button under the top right corner, selecting AIR from the list of reports, and clicking Download. There is a PowerPoint and an Excel report, but we will only cover the PowerPoint report here. This is the title slide of the AIR report which provides you with the project name, project ID, project owner and creator, and when the project was created. Here we see the physical overview of the environment. These include both physical servers running the operating systems on bare metal, as well as the hosts running the VMware ESXi hypervisor. Any server that the Live Optics Collector has directly collected data from would be included in this slide. This slide provides an overview of the virtual environment. This will include the hosts running a hypervisor, as well as information on guest virtual machines. The AIR report provides information on the various virtual machine t shirt sizes. In this example, there are 11 different vCPU and memory combinations, and 6 unique configurations. These six unique combinations could be the VM configurations of the outlier VMs as you'll see in the next slide. Here we have the VM resource distribution. This slide illustrates how many virtual machines and their resources are considered outliers. Outliers are those virtual machines whose resource threshold is above the 95th percentile. In other words, these VMs have a significantly different configuration compared to everything else. This is a graph on overprovisioning for vCPU. There are graphs for memory and capacity as well. Each bar in the graph represents a virtual machine. The blue bar represents how many vCPUs have been provisioned for that virtual machine, and the brown bar indicates how much of the provisioned resource has been utilized at peak. The AIR report also shares information on total versus idle CPU time. If the total CPU percentage is less than 6% for the entire hour, then the hour is considered idle, and increment the idle hour counter for that server. Note, the server CPU used performance metric is defined where 100% CPU suggests that all cores are fully saturated. When data protection software is identified within the virtual environment of an optical prime collection, the AIR report will include a DPS slide as we see here. This DPS overview slide provides VM data profiling, that includes valuable information on powered on and powered off VMs and how many are protected, the front end capacity and how much data is not backed up, and how many VMs haven't been backed up in two weeks. Notice that it also provides information on the source hosts and its configuration, which can be used to determine licensing for certain backup software. In the next section, the AIR report will share information on cloud pricing based on provisioned resources. Cloud pricing takes the configuration of the on-prem VMs assessed by Optical Prime, guest VMs and physical servers with no hypervisors, and queries the price of hosting the assessed VMs on the three main cloud providers, AWS, Azure, and Google Cloud. This slide shows a high-level comparison of the monthly cost to host all the virtual machines in each of the public clouds. Based on provisioned resources, this illustrates the average virtual machine and how much the monthly cost would be to host a virtual machine of this configuration in each of the public clouds. Here we list the top VMs by price per vendor. Since the VM configuration is matched to the closest t-shirt size in the respective public clouds, the top most expensive virtual machines may not be the same across all the public clouds. The AIR report also provides a pie chart of the t-shirt size counts for AWS, Azure, and Google Cloud. This section will provide information on cloud pricing based on peak usage. Cloud pricing based on peak usage takes the peak usage of vCPUs and memory, the use storage capacity of on-prem VMs assessed by Optical Prime, and queries the price of hosting the assessed VMs on the three main cloud providers, AWS, Azure, and Google Cloud. Here, you'll notice that the slides are similar to the previous section. However, the cost will be lower. The average VM size will be smaller. The top VMs will be different. And the t-shirt size counts will be different as the matching VM sizes have changed. For more information on cloud pricing, you may refer to the following KB articles. You can also view the Optical Prime Cloud Pricing Overview, if you haven't seen it. 
There is more information available within the AIR report which we did not have time to share here. We encourage you to download the AIR report from your Optical Prime projects and explore all the information provided. Thank you for using Live Optics.